So thanks for jumping in. And our next topic, we're going to talk about how some insurance companies are banning Tesla. And uh, shout out to um, the shout out to my the viewer that sent me this. Uh, let's let me give him the proper shout out. Shout out to James. You sent me this for showing the screenshot that two insurance companies, well, really just one, is now starting to not let you is sign up with tesla and the the interesting thing with this i definitely heard of another one before i never verified it but i didn't think it was going to be an actual thing but insurance companies are starting to limit the type of vehicle and specifically tesla which is a little bit scary to me and the fact of the matter is these two insurance companies are very close to what i actually recommend so it really sucks that this is happening and now i'm, I'm scrambling a little bit on what i am going to do so so we'll take a look at and let me know what your thoughts like let me know who you're insured with which state you're at and what will you do in the in the future for this but if you're just joining in my name is dennis i love talking about tesla hacking as like it's called but basically just getting the best DI in tesla at the best financing rate so definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested and so let us jump into this so i I mean, I, I've had insurance companies for a bunch of places. I've had Progressive, I've had Travelers, but most recently I ran into Wawa Nisa. Wawa Nisa is a California only insurance company. And you can see from this screenshot, shout out to James who sent me this. You can see there's no option for tesla and this is a pretty new thing the funny thing with this is i have wawa nisa right now and i still have the an insurance through tesla but i did get my rate raised pretty heavily very recently i thought it was just because we bought a model x but maybe there's something going on with wawa nisa that i'm not actually aware about and this would make a lot of sense because when i quoted with a different company which we'll talk about which i recommend a bunch which is actually costco connect it went down like 60 bucks a month but i was trying to sign up and then they basically went dark and so there could be something interesting that's going on because now costco connect which is a i know a lot of you out there report back and write on the comments on the videos that you were able to get really good rates with costco connect connect they seem to have uh pulled out of the california market and so of course i know this is not a tesla specific pulling out of or banning of the insurance companies for that but uh, this is pretty interesting that they pulled out of california because we all know california has a good amount of teslas and so this is a interesting change on that and the third thing i've heard very recently is that progressive is also now starting to ban uh or not insure teslas as well and so if you're curious on why this actually is it's really because it's new electric vehicle technology and new battery technology i actually had an article pulled up here but i must accidentally close it but really what it is is these body shops don't a little bit don't, don't want to take on the liability of fixing electric cars especially with the battery so they just total out the vehicle really relatively quickly and no one really wants to deal with it and it's just pretty expensive at the end of the day and so insurance companies are probably fit, foot with the bill and on top of that this is where i kind of predicted with tesla dropping the price of a vehicle 12 thirteen thousand dollars overnight i bet insurance companies don't want to necessarily deal with that like especially the model y which one day was a sixty six thousand dollar car the next day a fifty two fifty three thousand dollar car i bet one thing these customers that are paying for insurance on it they don't know how to react because their msrp says one thing on a window sticker it's supposed to be valued at that but if it quote unquote totals out the bank, the insurance companies as i understand are only supposed to pay the cash value of the vehicle to the customer so a customer who might have a loan on it at 60 65 maybe seventy thousand dollars and only gets paid out fifty five thousand dollars because that's what a brand new was brand new is one right now maybe even fifty thousand dollars they're underwater ten fifteen thousand dollars immediately so that's a scary proposition a scary uh you know thing that could actually happen to some people so that's why i do recommend gap insurance if you can get it uh, especially if you paid a high price of sixty six thousand dollars way back uh, last year or even earlier this year so that's a pretty scary thing but let me know what insurance you, companies you got uh pretty sad news because these are two companies wawanisa and costco that i 
I definitely uh, will like because uh, Costco quoted a pretty low rate recently and now I have to figure out. But it looks like right now, if you received a quote within the last 60 days, please call us at 187 blah, blah, blah. And quotes all older than 60 days have expired. So that's good news because I literally just got the quote like a week ago. They were in, you know, going through the paces. I was sending them pictures of the vehicle. They were a good and a okay. And then all of a sudden they went quiet and this must be exactly why. But tomorrow I'm going to call them. I'm going to try and fingers crossed because I was, I was a little bit worried because, you know, we do talk about tesla insurance and how it's a little bit of a big brother aspect because it does track your driving ability your what time you drive and all these different stuff and i was a, I was a little bit worried about getting on that especially because my safety score is not not necessarily the best it's like a uh, 80 last time i checked like an 83 which is probably really really low uh, let me know what your safety score is and so i was worried about that because i've heard things where tesla insurance will drop you know let you come in with a low rate but every six months will start to raise you based upon driving habits or whatever but there was really no proof uh, on that at the end of the day but definitely some pretty interesting stuff some insurance companies like uh Wawanisa are starting to ban Teslas from being newly insured. So uh definitely a very scary proposition uh moving forward. So hopefully you guys are able to find insurance and let me know what you guys are paying for insurance and what city or state you're at down below in the description. But we're gonna jump into our next topic. But before we do that, this video is like sponsored by my Patreon link. Down in the description is a Patreon link you, you can, where you can support the channel. And there's a variety of benefits, but some of them include actually scheduling a call with me where you can ask me any questions about buying a Tesla, selling a Tesla, or even financing a Tesla. And after you join the patreon you get a link to my buying guide which has links to all the best credit unions that i have that are better than tesla financing so you can save on the interest rate some even as low as 2.5 to 2.99 to 3 percent 3.5 to 3.99 percent so you can save on financing your tesla so definitely just check it out patreon link down below or even the youtube join link all right let's jump into some comments and questions actually <laughs> 